think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, so look Next video we have to watch is this because I'm not going to hold y'all. I didn't even expect to see this, to be honest with y'all. Um, this is a video by Shuriel. I'm not sure who that is, but that sounds like a girl's name. And this video is titled Bring Classy, Bring Back Classy Women. For obvious reasons, we have to watch this because I'm not going to lie. I'm just getting so tired of women over-sexualizing themselves online, bro. Like, the sexual content is just getting so annoying. Like I told y'all, bro, back in the day, I ain't gonna sit there and fake it. I used to like the twerk videos every now and then. Not liking them, like pressing like on them, but hey, bro, I see Megan twerking. I'm like, yo, all right. But now we're seeing Megan twerk at political rallies and shit. Like, like really, like, it's getting ghetto, and th this shit ain't even cool anymore. I don't, I, I, when I tell you how much I hate seeing twerk videos now, I literally hate it. I hate seeing y'all girls half naked, half, every last one of y'all bitches, oh, what you got to offer? Oh, that's how I know y'all bitches ain't got nothing else to offer. All you do is turn around posting your ass nonstop. This shit getting annoying. So let's go ahead and see about this video. Because when I tell y'all how, how much I want to bring back classy women, let's go ahead and see what this video is talking about here. Hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, and then she pretty too. Okay, let's go. My name is Shari. This going, this going, your name is what? Yell. If you're All right, I apologize for saying your name different. Shari L. All right. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Whew, this topic is so big because this. That's exactly what she said. You know, we got to go ahead and run that back because the way she said it. And trying to get between them tears. No, bro, she's classy. Bro, that's what we doing? How are we going to be horny when, like, really? Bro, what, why why y'all being horny? Bro, this is a classy woman. Can I be explicit in nature? No, let's not. Let's just calm it down, bro. This is a fully clothed, wholesome, classy woman. Can we treat her with respect? Whew. This topic is so big because this generation, this era of women are disgraceful. And that's the nicest way I can put it. Thank God someone said it. I appreciate it. You got me, okay? Her voice got me hooked. W video off the rip. Do w video somebody? off the rip. She got a better hairline than you as well. Why are we, why are we worried about hairlines? Like, and that's any... why I put in the title, bring back classy women. Yes. Because we are in a drought. Facts. So I'll get more into this. Okay, you got to learn to work on your editing. We saw you look right at the script. Y'all saw, saw her look at the script. <laughs> like, are in a drought. Do you need some money? <laughs> My girl didn't have to say that to me in public, SMH. This is her looking at the script. Yo, you gotta edit your videos just a tad bit better. We saw you looking right at it. Or you either memorize the script next time. So I'll get more into this after my intro. I don't know when this exactly happened, but if I tried to pinpoint when class went out the window, I would probably say... When ass came in, th in the window. Class went out and ass came in. That's exactly what happened. Around 2014, I would say. You think it was 2014? I would say during the rise of social media, but I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I don't even know what was worse, like social money. media now not or back then. Not a flood to be exact because there's too many fishes in the sea and stunk up the ecostitum, if you know what I Stitum. mean. Ecostitum. Gotta slow that one down next time, King Nine tells. But no, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if, if social media is worse now or back then because 
Back then, it was wild. I'm not even going to sit there and fake it. I just had a different mindset back then. My mindset back then was I just didn't care about whores being whores. Now I care, so now I notice it more. Back then, it was crazy. I'm not even going to hold y'all, bro. Every time I turned on any social media, it was always twerking. Girls, I'm talking about bikinis, all types of stuff. I think now we we see we may see more women doing it, but I think it's because we're trying to get rid of the degeneracy. But yeah, nah, it, yeah, it's, it's crazy now. It, it was, it's crazy back then. It, I mean, it was crazy back then. It's crazy now. This generation of women are all about getting drunk, smoking hookah, sleeping around, um, dressing like Boys. prostitutes. And okay, I... Okay, the, the, like, okay, I, I need to see the face on this one because I, I like I would never let my girl go out the house like this. And, but but I'm but I need that. I can't even hold you. But like, if I had to pick, I'm still gonna pick this girl in the middle, obviously, over either of these two. But 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 I but let me get that though. Let, let, let at least at least let me get a chance. You know what I'm saying? Let, let a nigga get a chance. Let a nigga, you know, like, you and know, like. having a sailor's mouth like cursing like sailors and i'm not saying this to i'm i ain't nothing but a nigga! so i must have a nigga! mouth because like that i curse too act like i'm perfect because i'm definitely not perfect but i just grew up in a time like as a child i grew up watching claire huxtable i grew up watching vivian banks i grew up so she got an old soul Shout watching the Brady Bunch and their mother, how she carried herself. It's just, I grew up- And these bitches grew up watching Megan Thee Stallion. These bitches grew up watching straight up whores. On classy women. I saw classy women on TV. And that's another thing as well. I grew up with amazing women in my household. I always say- Do you need some money? I didn't have to- I always say, do you need some money? Girls eyes ran. Do you need some money? Share link in bio ass girls. Shit, link and bio ass girls. Yeah, not yet. A lot of these girls nowadays, not her though. Look outside of my home. I had heroes in my home. So my grandmother, my mother, they're just classy women. And it's just so sad because the youth today do not care about their parents. They don't care about elders most of the time. They want to be like the streamers. They want to be like the female rappers. They want to be lit and turned. And the thing is, when you're all those things, when you're chasing what the world is chasing, which is popularity, you often have to do things that are degrading to be popular, like twerking, like drinking, driving the boat. Well, they don't necessarily have to. It's just that's what they think they do. They think they have to do all of that to be popular. They don't. Oh. That's their way to get popular. There's plenty of girls out there that just cook and get popular. But... They see all of these other girls, and there's more of the girls that are twerking and stuff like that that get popular, but there's also, there's other ways for women to get popular. Um, Just being half naked for likes, and it's come to the point where women- Nah, this is really crazy. Like, like on some real stuff, walk, like, I hope- Nigga, please! Yo. Fuck them old motherfuckers. What? I hope my daughter never walks out the house like this, man. No, no bullshit. That's one of the reasons why I condemn all like the whole behavior and stuff, the parahormal activity. The reason why I condemn all of this is because my daughter has to grow up in this generation of like, you know what I'm saying, of whoredom. And this is the type of shit that she may end up seeing. And I, I would just hope that she respects herself. Like it was one time we were in the mall and some girl was getting kicked out. And even my daughter, as soon as she saw the girl, she said, Daddy, why is her shirt so, why is her skirt so short? I looked over there. This girl had half her ass out and then it was another time we was in target and i saw that same shit but the girl got kicked out of the mall the other girl in target didn't get kicked out and i'm like yo this is disgusting i walked past and i said it loud as hell i said that is utterly disgusting and i said and you have a child i said there's no way you're dressing like that in front of your son our what people are you? truly finished disgusting. this is why i'm afraid to have a daughter i'm saying that and then like i'm dead ass looking at titties on twitter does that mean i indulge I'm not looking at titties on Twitter. I'm looking at titties on Twitter. I'm not necessarily. It's just, it, it is a, it is a, it's Wednesday. And I don't, it, it's from yesterday. The titties are showing up from yesterday. I, you know what? And it's come to the point where women don't wear clothes anymore. Everything they wear has spandex, nylon, and polyester. Everything is. They be. Uh, that's a big ass. 
You know, they be out here wearing uh our people are truly finished. Not ours. Not just ours. They be out here wearing uh lingerie to the club. Skin tight. Um I just got through with my son's graduation. He's 13 years old and he's moving from the eighth grade to high school. There's a few things I would like to address. I'd like to address, uh, you know what I'm saying, the fact that you didn't know that he going from 8th grade to ninth grade. You had to take that pause, bruh. Do you need some money? It ain't that hard. We had to Eight kick her out because her pants was damn near falling off her ass. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, and girls will show up like that to family functions and, uh, you know what I'm saying, public events, everything. It's crazy, man. First being the parents. Oh, my God. The moms... As I'm entering, I'm walking down towards where the graduation is. Do you need and I money? could not. If your daughter wears that type of clothes, you have to grab her by the doorway. Tell her go back inside. That's if I would have bought that shit for my daughter, which ain't gonna ever fucking happen. Let's get that very clear. That ain't gonna. I ain't gotta worry about that bullshit. That ain't, nigga, I ain't buying my daughter that shit. My daughter even tried me like that. I'm gonna kick her ass out. I'm dead ass. Nigga, that's my money. She got me fucked up. At any given moment, my daughter ever even think about wearing some bullshit like that, even buying it. She better buy it with her own money in, in, in her own house. Tell you that. I'm, nigga, I'm not one of those parents that'll be like, oh, well, let, let me discipline you. No, you're getting the fuck out. You want to do it? I right, bet. Do it on your own. As I'm entering, I'm walking down towards where the graduation is. And I could not help to think, am I at the club? Am I going to the club? I looked to my left and I saw a pair. She had on a top that stopped right here, all her belly outside, and her stomach looked like one of the oatmeal raisin cookies. When I gotta say this. Shout out to the fact of um, my kids going to the schools that they go to, because I've never gone to their schools and seen any weird shit like that. So I'm, I'm thank God that I haven't gotten a chance to see that. The skirt's so damn short and she only bent over to take up pretty thing. You can see what she's thinking. I looked to my left, I saw another mother. She had on a seat through dress with a thong on her and th these are just these are just two I'm, majority of the parents was dressed like they were going to the club now let's talk majority about how they of dress them. their daughters i swear to you the daughters had more cleavage and legs showing than the mothers one little girl she had a slit so far up her dress every time she walked she had to pull her dress down I saw another little girl, she had on a white dress, see-through. Bro, yo, y'all, when I tell y'all, bro, I love, like, my daughter, and I love the fact of, like, how she wants to dress, because, like, even her mom don't eat, do any of that bullshit. I remember one time my daughter had some shorts that were, like, right here, and then she, I had to remind her, I'm like, yo, little girl, you still a girl? Because, like, she was like, I don't know, these look a little too short. They were, like, right here, and they didn't come, like, even close to her, and I was like, little girl, you're not going to wear shorts like me. Like, you ain't finna walk around like this, my nigga. Like, cause you ain't gonna be no stud out, child. You heard me. That ain't happening. I ain't finna get you the cargo shorts with the little fitted and shit like that and with the little Nike socks and all of that shit with the Nike boots. We ain't doing that. You ain't finna be no stud out, child. But what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, I just like the fact that she just, she knew that she didn't want to dress like any of these whores out here or anything like that. I love that shit, man. Love the fact that my daughter knows better. You know what I'm saying? Because it'd be crazy the fact that these girls got their kids out here dressing like that. Thong on. And y'all notice what he said, right? I don't know if y'all took away one of the key points in here. He said, these women and they daughters. You see, he didn't say the parents, right? You see what he said? He didn't say the fathers and the daughters. He didn't say the parents and the daughters. These women and their daughters. And, 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 and I don't... Listen, I don't want none of y'all come on to this video and be like, why are you watching them so hard? It was hard to miss. You got on a white dress, see-through dress on your daughter with that type of underwear on her. You don't put on, what old people used to call it a slip or like a, like, um, a tights or something on it so it doesn't show that up. Why are you dressing your daughter in you like that to a It's disappointing because it's kids raising kids. It's not even, man. I used to think that way until I realized, bro, it's whores raising whores. 
Straight up, bro. Some of these bitches be 40-something years old and want to go to the club with their kids. They don't be, they be... These bitches be 50. They want to go to the club with their kids because their kid just turned 18 years old. She 50. There ain't no kids having kids. They be grown as shit. They just whores. They just, they just what they got in them. Graduate. Whores that got pregnant. That niggas got pregnant. Women don't even have style anymore. They don't have grace, posture, really anything. And it sounds like I'm beating people up, but I'm just. She said, speaking as an American observing she American at women. Me with the eyes of God's children. I want to go to church with her and take her to Sunday dinner. I'm glad it, at least that was a classy response. Let, let's not get horny or anything because, like I said, this woman is being classy and she's a, she's a wholesome woman. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's keep it wholesome with her. Getting out how I really feel, I feel like because of how things are in the streets, you know, people like to say, oh, I'm outside. It seems fun to be careless. It seems fun to let loose and be however you want to be because for so many decades, you know what? At least since the beginning of time, for such a long time, women were kind of sheltered or confined. They had to stay in the home. But I do want to comment on Ruby Rose shirts talking about stop slut shaming. Keep slut shaming. We need to slut shame you bitches back into being normal. Um, really like the 60s, 70s women started making their own money. And from there, I've just seen each generation get a little bit more loose when it comes to women. And... It's honestly sad to see. Women are so beautiful and so precious, and when we treat ourselves like pieces of meat, when we just give our bodies away. She gotta turn the volume down on her on her music. To any stinky man, I just hate that for us. I really do. Like, self-worth needs to be a thing, and a lot of people think, oh, it's empowering to sleep with who you want, and my body, my choice, but at the end of the day, all you're left with is biting the dust. You end up with STDs, you end up with children without fathers that don't want to help you raise them, you're unmarried, um, and people like say, oh, that's not my goal, I don't want to be married with children. Most of the women that speak like that, they're, they're just usually hurt, somebody hurt them. And I don't want to see me in this video, but up, I can almost hear the video. That's what I'm like, bro. She she was wilding with this music, man. It's just like it's getting so bad. And I'm not saying the men are perfect. These men out here, they need a lot of work. But because I'm a woman and I'm not going to tell a man what he needs to do, because I don't even really know everything men need to do to improve but as a woman especially if you're a younger woman who is not in the streets yet like you're a young girl and you look up to certain the streets yet female rappers you look up to certain older cousins that seem like they're living their life just know it's so much better to be ladylike it's so much better to be well-mannered to have good posture to look people in the eyes to have class to know how to maneuver and to be kind too like seriously different rooms a lot of these people that are honestly ratchet they can't step into certain rooms you miss certain opportunities when you're a certain way and not to mention the men you attract when you are wild you attract wild men you attract unstable men men that make money illegally that don't care about themselves and they really don't care about you i'm glad she said don't care about themselves that's a fact and that's why you say you don't want to get married or have kids because the type of men you date or sneaky links you involve yourself with. And it's just like, it's such an exhausting life to live recklessly as a woman. I want to live a soft life. I'm not saying I don't want to work, but I do want to have times where I can just let my man handle it. Where's there are the times where... I Mikel too live. thank you for the sub, Where's bro. The N -words? Welcome to DSG, my nigga SG. Thank you for the 10 months. He said, where the bitties with the nice titties at? Oh my God. Where the lasses with the fat asses at? Yo, yo chill, SG. This is a this is a wholesome girl. You know what I'm saying? Well, wholesome content. Please chill on her, bro. I don't want to do certain things. And when you're masculine as a woman, when you're aggressive as a woman, you will have a hard life. <laughs> and people find that out the hard way. And also when you live this ratchet ghetto life um or just loose my body my choice life 
you usually end up single for the rest of your life. Um, nobody wants to be with you. You have a terrible reputation because you slept with so many people. But that's the truth. Woo! A lot of girls fail to realize that because all of these desperate ass niggas. Man, y'all dudes be so desperate. These bitches don't understand. You are a fucking whore and a loser. Niggas use you. That's it. But these niggas um, be so desperate that these girls know they could just easily find them another man. So it don't matter what they do. Yo, Mikel Too Loud said, been watching your YouTube John for a minute, dog. Um, watching you uh for years. Uh, too glad. Uh, yeah, too glad I can find. Uh, I can finally tune in to a stream. Yo, thank you, my nigga. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you for being over here. Hope you enjoy yourself. Tricky thing about men, men to your face will act like they- Ashura said some women don't realize they're losers. Some, most, because niggas are, niggas are so motherfucking desperate. These bitches don't, like, like say for instance, a lot of y'all girls don't realize the men that you attract when you post those thirst traps. You're not attracting men that are gonna, you know what I'm saying, be, that are, that are looking for a wife. You're attracting men that are looking for something to sleep with. They don't care how many people you're attracting you horny men slept with or who you have talked to but men care <laughs> they Score break men i definitely quality, blame men they definitely care so if you i'm glad she said men of quality you have a reputation for being around town it's going to be harder for you to get a man and the thing about having class as well it's not to act like you're perfect or better than somebody else but it just truly shows your self-esteem you and your self-worth and the rose disliked this video but you're right, niggas enable honess, including me, like literally looking first traps and booty pics through a burner account. You gotta chill on that for real. I'm serious, bro. At the end of the day, what, where has that gotten you? What is What good has that done for you? For a real? lot of the times women that are like the women nowadays, they really don't have self-worth, whether they want to admit it or not. You can know you look good, but still not care about yourself. And that's why you make certain choices because you don't care about yourself. You don't. You talk to anybody, you sleep with anybody, you make out with anybody at the bar. It's just, it's funny stories to talk about and say you were drunk, but it's really- Candy Jones said, I stopped using Twitter because it's filled with porn. It's, it's, it's like almost unavoidable with Twitter. Like I said, if you see all of the stuff that I like, you'd be like, how a random girl showing up in your timeline? Say for instance, even on my, um, my, um, my Instagram. Look at this. Here's my explore section. Let's see what pop up. Well, of course, obviously the bodybuilding shit and everything. But look at this. Why? Why is this here? Why is this random nigga? Why? Why is that here? Why is this nigga here? Who is this nigga? Well, the nigga built. So I'm guessing that that's why the nigga showed up. Cause I be liking the bodybuilder pictures and shit like that. But why is nigga showing up? But why? Like, why is like what is this? Why are they putting this on here? And then and then you go to shit like this, right? You can click not interested on some, but what I've noticed is this, right? This is what I don't get. Of course, Chris, it's the widow babies. You already know the widow babies. But some of these joints, right? You try to click on not interested. Nah, 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 not, not Instagram tripping. Cause I kept clicking not interested on them. And now it, it was showing me interested. And then I would, I would have to click it and see that they put it in my timeline because of somebody else. And it would be like, because someone else liked it. Let me see. Like, this girl popped up right here. Let's see if it, it'll do it right here. Why you? Oh, there it is. Why you're seeing this post. And then, boom. Because it was liked by somebody. It ain't because of what I'm looking at. And I'm just trying to figure out why these bitches keep popping up. I don't like seeing thirst traps and shit. For real. Like, all of, the, all of these shits, man, it, it's not cool. Because, like I said, I'm looking for a wife. I don't want to see anything that's going to trigger me to want to go out there and sleep with some random women. Really not funny at the end of the day. And also when you have children, because we have social media now, there's literally... Yeah, Ghost Pod Gaming. I don't know what's up with the algorithm on any of these platforms. Oh, Trinity Joseph said, why is, that, uh, why is that a thing that happens? That makes no sense. I don't know. It don't matter how much you click not interested. It's going to show up in your reels. It's going to show up in your explore section. Like I said on Twitter, I'm going to try to scroll down Twitter real quick. I, I ain't going to... Obviously, I ain't going to put it on the platform. I mean, I just opened... Uh, Twitter. Let me see how long it takes for me to find a random woman coming across. Look at this. Look at this. And I know I don't follow her. I know I don't. I don't look. Y'all see, I didn't have to scroll down far at all. Who is this? Oh, I follow her. Oh, and that ain't even her. She posting a, a different girl. I don't even know what that girl is. All right, now let me see some random girl. 
We follow each other, that girl that I just showed y'all. Love being a locked woman. Why is this popping up? Look at this. Hold on. We don't follow each other. Why is she popping up? Now let's scroll down again. We're going to keep scrolling a little bit more. It ain't going to take long. Guarantee you it ain't going to take long. Let's see how long it takes for me to scroll before random girls pop up again. Luckily enough, that ain't popping up right now. The only thing that's popping up is the girls that I follow. We're not, but this ain't normal. This ain't. I was about to, bruh. When I tell y'all, I, I forgot we follow each other. Because I was about to say, I, I was about to be mad as hell. Like, how is that popping up? But I forgot we both follow each other. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, we follow each other. I was about to say, why is, why is, this, why is this coming across my timeline? But all right. So much documentation of how you were before you had kids that even when you delete videos and pictures, it's never really wiped from the internet. So it's devastating for a child. Yo, uh, uh, Drew Trey Gumby said, uh, yo, uh, they show you what they want you to see for real. This shit, I mean, this shit's sick for real. It is. I don't, like, bro, ever since they hid the likes on uh, Twitter, the most random girls pop up on my, my timeline. It'll be a girl with two likes on her picture. And then she's showing up on my timeline. Rohan, uh, Prince Rohan said, I swear the only reason shit like that pops up is if you uh, have people that like it and it will show you, uh, it, it, it will show that, uh, it will show that to you as well. I don't follow a lot of people on Twitter and I don't see them on my timeline. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to start limiting the people I follow because I follow a lot of people back and then all of these random girls always popping up in my timeline. That shit annoying. I dead don't want to see a whole bunch of whores. Like, I don't want to see that. And I, I, But I follow a lot of people back because I fuck with everybody. To see or hear about how their mom was, even if you change after you have children, is still devastating knowing that your mother was loose. A whore. No kid wants their mom to be a garden tool. Honestly, it's embarrassing and it's cringy. And I've seen it have psychological effects on people that I know whose moms were always doing their thing, even though, like, before or after having the kid, it, it affects your child. So, if you care about your future children, if you'd like to have a husband, if you'd like to just have a nice reputation and be able to be in certain doors, be classy. It's actually fun. I love looking nice. Candy Jones said before, wow, this is a classy woman. This is how I like my girls to dress. I like to see women like this. I literally love it. All of that whole stuff and everything, it's all good to look at every now and then, but this is how I like to see women. This is the type of stuff that makes me think, wow, she is beautiful. The other stuff you see, you know what I'm saying, with the whores, it's like it's always good to look at, and you be thinking, man, I fucked the hell out that bitch. And that's exactly what I think. Those exact words. Damn, I fucked the hell out that bitch. I see a girl like this, and I see a wife. I say, oh, my God, this woman is beautiful. I'd like to wife her. And the thing is, being classy is not like wearing a blazer like me right now. You don't always have to wear a blazer. It's just holding yourself to a certain standard. Nobody, a lot of women nowadays just don't have standards. And it shows and it's sad. Um, women are have much more to offer than you know, so that's a good woman. Exactly. That's what I see when I see her. bodies. You try to get between them, titties. And, and, then, and then you still got to take it there. We got to chill. We got to chill. But that's all people sure. are giving out now. And that's why the dating pool is so bad. That's why the internet is so trashy because it's really girls gone wild. I just want us to know if there's anybody listening. That was Rihanna doing that? Bro, what? Rihanna, a wife? Trashy because it's... This is Rihanna, DSG. For the people who didn't see, this is Rihanna. This is Rihanna doing this. It's really girl. This is Rihanna. Wow. This is actually. Gone I, didn't, I didn't even know until I saw the face. I just want to Right. Know. Right there. I didn't even know that was her until I saw the face right here. Rihanna, a wife doing that. A mother and a wife. If there's anybody listening to me. Because <laughs> I, I know I'm... I am trying to get between well, that heart and soul. She ain't, she ain't, I forgot she's not a, she not a wife, but a, a mother though, a mother. Probably gonna make people mad with this video, but if you are a girl that. People? 
You only, you know who you're going to make mad. You ain't going to make men mad. You know that. The only men you're going to make mad is gay men. You know, you're like, oh, I'm tired of being a good girl. Good girls finish last. Because or... that is one thing that gay men do. Gay men do support whores. I will tell you that. Gay men always support the whores. You know, you're, you're thinking about, you know, going to the other side. It's not worth it. Trust me. The right guy will value you and will wife you up. It's honestly very, it's not hard at all to get wiped up when you're classy because Ooh. you stand out. So many women are classless. I see a woman like this and I think that's a wife. That's a good woman. That's what I like. I literally love seeing women like this. That when you do have class, you literally attract better quality men and they're easy to find because of what's out there. And if you are a woman that you're living recklessly and you want to change, like you, you feel wrong or convicted about it, I th you really should. You should hold yourself to a higher standard because you're better than this. You don't have to be this way. Mm. Even if all your friends are this way or the people you grew up with in your neighborhood are this way, you don't have to stay like this. You can always level up. You can always have class. Even if your reputation has a little bit of dirt on it, who cares? If you truly change, what can they really say about you? I'm not that way anymore. That they can say you're a whore. They can still, like, your past follows you. See, look, now, now we ain't gonna sit there and lie to these girls. You feel what I'm saying? They pass matters. Let's get that very clear. That's what you can say to them. So really value yourself, carry yourself to a high standard because you are different, you're special, and you should be this way. Um, like I said, you don't have to be prim and proper, but it's about everyone not having access to you. It's about carrying yourself with honor and dignity and respect. And... I'm and just like wearing clothes again. I'm, I'm tired of seeing women half naked. Seven That's crazy that the fact. See, it just make me horny. It don't make me anything other than horny. See, see, Fredo, I'm going to need that too. The thing is, it don't make me anything other than horny. I see a girl like this and want to fuck the shit out this bitch. trying to get between them titties. Now, now see, that's acceptable for that. Because that's the only thing I'm thinking as soon as I see her. See, my nigga MMA fan said, I got about, I got the 40. You feel what I'm saying? As soon as I see a girl like this, this is the first I'm thinking. I got, I got at least about 40 for her. I went to college with an even toe we never spoke in person. I saw she was always classy. She about mm -hmm. to have her third child with her husband. Keyword, husband. Husband. Exactly. 25% no clothes, so much mesh and see-through, skin-tight things. It's not Husband. even going to get you the attention that you really want. It's like, it's just sad. It's just crazy how girls just dress. It's, it's, it's insane. And it's sad you would think they would consider, if you're dressed like that in public, you're going to see people's children and families. And girl that's I, I ne that's one that's one of the main things I will never understand knowing that you're gonna be around people's kids, kids in general. Come on, girls really? just don't care. They're like, it's my life. I'm gonna do what I want, and it's just a sad existence. And it says a lot. It's in bread, my nigga. This how I feel about when I see young niggas sagging and wearing ski masks. Facts. Trying Facts. Their absolute hardest to be hood niggas. Nah, nah, nah. I can't even say they're trying. I even hate the hood niggas that do it. No bullshit, bro. Sagging your pants as a grown ass, as a man in general, as a boy. I, I teach my son don't do that. You are not sagging your pants. Well, I don't play that at all, bro. And my son, that ski mask shit, psh, let my... Nigga, my son ever tried it. I'm going to rob that nigga in GTA. Let my son ever play with me like that. I'm going to show that nigga. You ain't about that street shit for him. Are you real? listening, ain't about Chloe? That shit. There's some great content. Daquan showed us just be classy and stand out as a wife. Also, let me hold tree 50. I was about to say, Chloe already been classy. She good. She good, bro. There needs to be a lot of healing. So this is not in judgment. It, it may good, sound man. harsh, but it's just gotten to that point where you can't say stuff nicely. It, class needs to come back in style. And, I, and, and not this fake class that I have been seeing online. Some, some girls are- If you are a man and you justify saying your pants. And I got news for you. You mean sagging your pants? That means you're gay. They, they would. Sagging Do your you pants is crazy as a man. Now facts these niggas that walk around in the shiesty masks be corny as hell. Corny and stinking and dirty. Are dressing with bows in their hair and like dressing classy, but you're still bending over in your pictures. You're still having your middle finger up and your tongue out. That's not being classy. You, you can't dress. 
Thank you. Middle G finger. DSG, a long time no see. I'm glad she brought that up. What up, YG? AJ, what's good, bro? I'm glad she even brought that up, though. Sticking your tongue out and middle finger out. Still bending over pictures. in your pictures. You're still having your middle finger up and your tongue out. That's not being classy. You can't that. dress the part. You have to be the part. You have to have the character. It's about somebody. character. With the only time I wear my ski mask is on my stream, in the comfort of my home, and in my white suburban neighborhood. I don't, like, well, I wear my ski mask on my head. I don't ever wear it, like, over. I just wear one because I like the way it look, like, rather than a do-rag and wave cap. Class, it's not about how you dress. A lot of girls are dressed classy. My nigga Roddy Roddy Brickboard League just said, yo, literally the only time I sag is when I forget my belt and I go to a store immediately to buy a cheap one for the day if I'm too far from the crib. Facts. But I, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I take too much time to get ready and prepared and shit to leave the house so I don't ever forget. Uh, Scullyville said I wear my ski mask when I'm skiing. Exactly. That's the only time. Like, it's a ski mask, bro. I wear my shit right up here. I wear my shit when it's cold and I'm walking, doing cardio and shit like that. But other than that, I don't need to do all that. But still are behaving like people that get hired for certain things. And that's not classy. So I hope this wasn't too harsh. And like I said, I'm not perfect. I nah, don't... It people needed to always be get mad when you call out, you know, ratchetness. But it is what it is. It's too many sexy reds and not enough Claire Huxtables to me. Yo, bro, when I tell y'all I saw the most egregious, disgusting, vile thing earlier, Sexy Red and Lotto twerking inside of a restaurant on the tables. Ratchet, disgusting, ghetto. Like, I, when I, and I can't believe they think this is acceptable. Twerking on, a resta on restaurant tables, y'all. And I'm tired of seeing it, I really am. Women need to wear clothes again. Women need to have dignity again. Care about themselves. Have true self-worth. Stop bending over. Stop Scully, real life. Real life. Sexy red and lotto. Sticking your tongue out. Stop sticking your middle finger up. I'm tired of seeing it. You need Jesus. You need to get close to God. Because he didn't create you and design you to be this way. And yeah. <laughs> so, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If of course. What? With this video? Of course. This needs to get seen. This needs to be seen. If you'd like to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. I'm saying this with love, guys. Shout out to Shorio for this video. Shout out to her. I'd much rather listen to her than that girl in that video right there. Shout out to that dude, though. I'll be listening to bro. He'd be spitting every now and then. Shout out to this girl, Shorio. W video. Definitely Do big Ws somebody. in the chat for her. The big Ws. Of Nothing but Ws. The satisfy you for a night, but the damsels of the dawn are what drive a man to greater heights. Exactly. W classy video. W classy video. Shout out to Shorio for that content right there. So.